Hello and welcome. So far in this beginner's JavaScript tutorial series, you've learned about data types and the properties and methods of strings, numbers, and the math object. Let's apply what you have learned about JavaScript up to this point to solve a problem. This coding challenge asks you to write code that will return a random letter from your name. I'll provide more help in a few seconds, but if you think you already know how to do this, please pause the video to work on your solution. Problem solving is always easier when you destructure a problem, that is to break a larger problem down into smaller, easier to solve problems. Let's do that for this challenge. I'll start with my name Dave. It has four letters. I need to return a letter from my name. What type of data is my name? Did we learn a method that will return one character from a word? Pause the video again to answer these questions before I give you the answers. Okay, coming back to give you the answers. My name is string data. Remember checking data types with the type of keyword? Did we learn about a string method that will return a single character from my name? Yes, we did. The character at method. We have to pass an argument to the character at method that is a number. The number is the position of the character we will return. So now our next problem is how do we generate a random number from one to four? I think you know this. Pause the video to write your own line of code that will generate a random number. I'll come back to give more help in a few seconds. In the tutorial just before this code challenge, we learned how to generate a random number from 1 to 10 using the math object along with two of its methods, random and floor. If you remember that JavaScript expression, it looked like this. I'm sure you can see how to change the JavaScript expression to generate a random number from 1 to 4 instead of 1 to 10. Just change the 10 to a 4. We took our larger problem and broke it into two smaller problems. The first, how do we return a single character from a string? And the second, how do we generate a random number to pass to the character at method as an argument? Now we have to take both of our smaller problem solutions and combine them to solve the larger problem we started with. Can you combine them to return a random character from my name? I'll show you the answer in a couple of seconds. Take my name Dave as string data and use dot notation to apply the character at method. Now take our random number expression and insert the full expression into the character at method as the argument. The expression returns a random number from 1 to 4, and the character at method needs a number to know which character to return from my name. But wait, we have a problem with our code. Do you know what the problem is? First, let me say there is no shame whatsoever in writing code that causes an error or doesn't respond as you thought it would. This is how you learn, and no one is perfect. I create errors all the time. With experience, you will learn how to identify and catch errors. Okay, do you know what the problem with our code is? It is something that is really easy to miss. My name does have four characters, but we should start counting character positions at zero, not one. To return the capital D from my name, the character at method needs an argument that is zero. Likewise, if we pass the number 4 to the character at method, we get nothing in return. We actually need to be generating a random number from 0 to 3 to make our code work. Let's change the random number expression to do just that. The fix is very simple. Just remove the plus 1. Remember, the math random method includes 0 but excludes 1. When we use the math floor method with it, we are rounding down. We actually have to include the plus 1 to get random numbers starting at 1. By removing it, we get random numbers starting at 0. So here's our first attempt at a solution. And this solution works, but it only works for my name. Let's level this solution up by making it work for any name. Unless your name has four letters, you may have already thought of this. 
This is our third small problem that leads to a better overall solution. Pause the video and try to figure it out. I'll be back in a few seconds to help. Okay, we need to level up our solution so it will apply to any name. This means we need to use a variable to hold the string data. That way we can write our equation and refer to the variable that holds any name we assign to it. Just like this. Now we can replace the string data in our expression with the variable we created. This is better, but something tells me it still won't work. Can you see what we still need to change? That's right, not every name has four characters. We need to change the four to show how many characters are in whatever string data we store in the variable any name. Do you remember what might do that for us? Think about that for a couple of seconds and I'll come back to help. We need something that shows how many characters are in whatever name we store in our variable. In other words, we need something that tells us how long the name is that we are storing inside the variable. The string length property does just that. Let's replace the number four in our JavaScript expression with our variable's length property. Now that looks better. We've arrived at a solution that will work for any name, and by doing so, we've created reusable code. Remember to solve problems, programmers often break the problem into smaller parts that are easier to solve, and then they bring the solutions together to solve the larger overall problem. Congratulations on completing your first coding challenge. Hi, I'm Dave, and I hope this code challenge has helped you start thinking about problem solving. Remember to keep striving for daily progress instead of perfection. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be alerted when I post new tutorials. I'll see you next time.